Hi, this is a quick start guide to movie life. So in this video, you can watch how to create a free account, CMS overview, how to add live stream, how to start and stop live stream, how to add a meeting, how to conduct the meeting, and we will also explore the key features of live. To create your free account, visit www.movie.com, navigate to products, click on live. So to create your free account, click on start free. Type your name, company name, phone number, mail ID, password and then click on I agree to movie terms and privacy policy and click on next. So here you will be asked to enter the OTP. So you can check your email for the OTP. So copy the OTP from your email and you can use it here okay. and then click on validate OTP. So your OTP is validated and your free trial account is created now. So to help you using the movie live CMS, so you added this uh, guided tour. So you can start the tour. So it will guide you how you can create the live stream and how you can manage your wallet. So this is the CMS and uh, the live CMS. You can go to the wallet and you can check here that Initially, we provide 1 GB of bandwidth and uh, 15 minutes of streaming. So, if you want to stream live stream for more and use more bandwidth, then you can purchase the bandwidth and uh, streaming hours in advance. So, you can live stream without any interruption, or you can add your card details. For that, you have to go to your my account page and then under the payment information you can add your card details so whenever you will use the bandwidth and streaming hours so it will be deducted from your card in card that you have added under the payment information so you can see the events uh, here so it's, it will show how many live events you are currently running and then you can also access the help center click on help center this is the help center for movie live and you can explore all the related help articles to movie live also you can search the help articles using the search here in the help center and you can also go to your profile and view all your account details and if you want to cancel your account click on cancel account or if you want to change your password then go to password and you can change the password if you want to upgrade your subscription then click on manage subscription and uh, you can select the enterprise plan and proceed for the checkout so now i will tell you how you can add a live streaming content so you just click on live streams and then click on add live stream so first you need to type a name and description about your live stream so in source uh, there are two options available encoders or streaming software and external live feed so if you are selecting external live feed then you can use any existing hls feed url or rtsp or mpd url to live stream and if you select the encoder streaming software then you have to download install the encoding so encoder streaming software like obs bmx switcher studio and then you have to configure that so in advertisements you can select the advertisement if you want to show advertisements in the live streams and you can enable the recording option recording option is enabled and once it is enabled so when you are live streaming so that will be recorded in the background and it will be available in the recordings library later when you stop the live stream and you can access the recording mp4 format and you can download that recording to your device you can enable the drm for the uh, security of the live stream so you can secure your live streaming using the drm option so when you'll share your live streaming with your end users so it will protect unauthorized users to access your live stream in nearest server location you can select the server location that is nearest to your location so this will help you to connect with the local server instantly and uh, you can provide better live streaming output to your 
end users now we will click on save so the live streaming will be added and you can uh, repeat this process and add multiple live streams so once the live streaming is added then we can click here to start the live stream and you will see that uh, the message is displayed that uh, you need to add your card details if you have not added the card because if you will not add the card then it will exist with uh, 1 GB bandwidth or 15 minutes of uh, streaming so automatically your live streaming will be stopped so if you add the card details so additional bandwidth or streaming are used that will be automatically charged from your card or it, you can also purchase advanced streaming hours on or band and bandwidth for uh, uninterrupted live streaming so for now i'm i'm going to skip it so it says that you will take uh, two minutes uh, to connect with the server so by that time i will show you how to configure the streaming software first. so there are the, um, different types of streaming software or encoder available in the market so you can explore these uh, streaming software and encoder most of them are free of cost so you can download install them and use them without paying any cost and some of them are you have to pay some cost to use those encoder or streaming software so OBS is one of the most popular uh, streaming software or encoder so you can download OBS for different operating systems like Windows, Mac or, or Linux so I have already installed the OBS so I will show you how you can configure the OBS for the live streaming uh, this is uh, OBS or open broadcast software this is the interface of OBS so in OBS on the left hand side first you need to add scenes so just click on the plus icon to add a scene so you can give a scene name for example I can give it a name like camera 2 and then click on ok so against the scene you can add a source so under the sources click on the plus icon to add a source you can add different types of sources like you can add window capture if you want to capture the entire window and you want to live stream that you can select video capture device if you want to use any uh, video capture device like your laptop's camera or any other camera that is connected to your laptop as a source even you can select the media source that means you can use an existing video as a source and you can live stream that also so select a video from your device and then click on ok so it will be used as a source so here you can see I have also selected different sources that is display capture as a source and you can see that it is capturing whatever I am doing on my screen and uh, you can live stream that also you can use an existing video just like you know, I have selected an existing video within a static image can also be added as a source and you can also explore other sources like uh, display capture, game capture even you can capture the browser and you can live stream that and uh, you can even capture the audio from your uh, device say mic like laptop's mic and then you can also live stream that so our uh, source and uh, scene is added now we will go to file then go to settings so now click on stream and select the service here so we will select custom and uh, there are two fields here you can see server and stream key so you can get the server url stream key in the movie live let's go back to the movie live cms so as you can see the server is now connected and uh, it is showing the location of the server the static ip and the stream url and stream key that we will copy it, it from here and use it in the obs so you can see other encoders that we are displaying here we support all these encoders for live streaming now let's copy the stream url and let's go back to obs now we will replace this with the url that we have already copied from the movie live and then go back to movie live again then copy the stream key and uh, use the stream key here stream key is unique for each live content that you are creating click on apply and ok now we already have 
now started the live streaming here in uh, movie live cms as you can see the live indicator is there is showing active now we will start it from the encoder on the right hand side click on start streaming and wait for some time you will see the changes here data changes and then we will check here you can see the data changes here and then we are now live streaming so how we can share the live streaming so before you share the live streaming you can preview it so you can see in the events it is showing that one event is currently running in the event section now before you share the live streaming just click here to preview the live stream so here you can see the live streaming so now we'll see how we can share the live streaming just to share the live stream click on the three dots on the right hand side of the live streaming so these are the options available to share the live streaming so you can use the embed url of the live stream so embed url generated simply copy the embed url and you can share it on your website or app then you can generate the hls output of the live streaming and copy it and you can share the live streaming using the hls url a direct shareable link will be also generated so we can copy the shareable link let me show you how we can use it to view the live stream so here you can see we are watching the live streaming using the shareable link so i have already enabled the live chat option for the live stream so it is showing the uh, live chat option now if you we'll click on the insights it will show the real time analytics that how many users are watching your live streaming right now and if you want to stop the live streaming so you can either stop it from the encoder and uh, here you can again resume it but if you want to stop it completely then you can stop it directly from the movie live cms so if your live streaming event is over so we will suggest that uh, you must stop it from the live cms because if you we'll keep it running then uh, your bandwidth and uh, streaming hours will be used and you will pay for that also so let's stop the streaming from the cms click on stop then click on proceed so as you can see the live streaming is stopped successfully and uh, if you will check the wallet you can see that how much uh, streaming hour and uh, bandwidth is consumed then you can check the recordings library to see if the live streaming is recorded and you can see the so the recording is available in the library and uh, before you download the recording in the mp4 format you can just preview it also click on the play button and you can preview the recording or if you want to remove the recording from yours you can just click on the trash icon and you can remove the recording so you also provide search option to find any specific recording or you can use the filter option also in, to find any specific recording let's explore the meeting feature in uh, live so click on meetings to create any new meeting then click on add meeting so type the meeting name description and password so password and description is optional then click on save and uh, the meeting will be added now you can see the meeting is added here and then you can click on start to start the meeting so the meeting is started so here you can click on to join as a host then you have to type the password to join and then uh, you can select these options like whether you want to join with the microphone and camera or only with the camera or with only with uh, microphone or without the microphone and camera so later you can switch on your microphone or camera in the meeting then click on join so the meeting has started so here you can uh, switch on your camera or microphone in the meeting and uh, if you want to invite other people for the meeting then go to the meeting and uh, click on the three dots on the right hand side of the meeting then click on share option so you can get a uh, get this url you can copy it and share with the users to whom you want to invite for the meeting so they can click on the link and join the meeting 
and we also provide the embed link option so you can copy the embed link and share this on your website so the join button will be added and the, the visitors can click on the join button and they can join the meeting also uh, so here you can see how, how many people have joined the meeting how many participants are there and if you want to share your screen during the meeting click here and you can share the screen in the meeting and uh, there is a chat option also so you can chat with the participants here and uh, you can also enable the advanced settings for the video audio by clicking on this uh, gear icon and if you want to exit the meeting then click on this uh, leave meeting option and you can exit the meeting to stop the meeting click on stop so meeting will be stopped so you can see the meeting is stopped now uh, let's explore other features under the player settings you can go to the player settings where you can click on the experience tab and you can see the logo option so you can upload a logo here and you can select the logo position so logo will appear on your live stream player when your integers are watching your live stream so they can see your brand logo on the player and you can enable the live chat option i have already shown you that how the live chat appears on the uh, players and uh, if you enable it then your end users can start a live chat during the live streaming and uh, you can enable the security feature you can enable the watermark feature you can use the ip address or the date or you can use both as the watermark so that will appear on the player when the end users are watching the live streaming and you can adjust the opacity level of the watermark and even you can make the watermark dynamic or static and you can also enable the allow embed player on specific domains restriction so if you will add any specific domain here then you can only embed the live movie live uh, output on the particular website so if the website is not listed here so if you use the embed link of the live streaming so that will not work so this is the restriction that you can add under the player settings so under monetization you can add the advertisements if you want to show advertisements in the live streaming and then you can add the tag name and tag url here uh, mostly we support the vast option for advertisement and you can integrate it to the live streaming and we also support the mobile app so you can explore the apps here you can go to the play store or iTunes app store and you can find our live so this is our live app you can install the live app on your mobile device and you can log into this live app using the live credential so the same credential that you use to log into mobile live CMS use that to log into the app so in the app you can uh, add the live stream and then you can also start or stop the live streaming here directly from the app so here you do not need any input or streaming software for live streaming and once the live streaming will be started on the app you can use your mobile's uh, front camera or back camera for live streaming or you can switch between the cameras and then you can get the sharing option like shareable link or the utilities url that you can use and share the live streaming with your end users so under settings you can uh, find the webhook so you can add or create different uh, events using the webhooks simply click on here to add the webhooks so select the event and then you can add the triggers here we also provide the api details under the advanced so you can get the app id and the secret key that is required for the api integration so uh, you can uh, connect the mobile live cms the back end to your existing website or app using the API details available now. So that is all about Movie Live. Thank you for watching.